King Kong is now wearing a Santa Claus hat and mistletoe alerts. Oh wow, and another restaurant has been removed here at City Walk and new walls are up. Something is, something else is on its way. And I don't just mean the newly placed holiday decor. NBC Sports Grill and Brew opening 2020. Wreaths all in place, Halloween is gone by the wayside and Christmas just around the corner. And it wouldn't be the holidays without this friendly face. They are designating it Happy Hula Days. How are we doing? Good. Have a great day, have fun. I will, thank you. Just have to head through the security standpoints. Construction update for November 2019. All around the property. In fact, they've even rolled out the red carpet. Don't believe me? Check it out. Here in the courtyard, they got the boom mic and cameras ready to roll. The entertainment capital of LA. This guy's working very hard to get that frame, get that shot in frame. Nailed it. And of course, that is something that would make even Hitchcock proud. Doesn't seem to be too terribly busy today, a weekday. The cat in the hat's hanging out over here in this window display. The automobile from the mummy has been placed back in this particular spot. Closed for refurbishment, Waterworld has a fence line up, probably to remove some of the HHN props. Gosh, it seems like only yesterday I was waiting in a queue right here for a haunted house. Things move quickly. I never till now realized the name of that little area over there is Limley Court, named after the studio's founder. In fact, the placard here states it. Oh my goodness, the scrim has been removed on the facade of the future secret life of pets. That is pretty dang exciting. I have not seen this view and version of it. It's like a cityscape, almost similar to What's over here on the opposite side? Quite a bit of painting and touch-ups going on up there on the scaffolding. Nice little sunburst there off to the left of the screen, just for effect. The front portion still has it, but you can see around the right side also opened. Anyone home? Banana, banana, banana. Flashing back to about a year ago, this area looks completely different. At least the right over here. And just off to the side, removal of yet another Halloween house. Gosh, that thing has to be about 25 feet tall all the way up to the roof line. Come on, wearing that cap, you gotta smile. You gotta smile. And that's what I'm talking about. That's the spirit. To use the word progress, it is, man, it is really coming along down there. That new area. Now they haven't officially and technically announced formally what that section is gonna be. But the rumor mill is strong, very strong. Notice a tram going by down there next to the fire station. This is a working city. The roof seems to be already on that portion. And over here, no roof, but definitely moving at a brisk pace, construction-wise. Gosh, as quick as these seasonal teardowns are going, should be able to walk in this little region next to the palace again very soon. There's Shrek. Hello, hello. Oh, goodness. Can't get over there yet, but future event, the Whoville tree is in place. So what is this time of year between Halloween and Christmas? What do, what do you designate it as? Hanukkah. Okay. I'm just taking a poll. Are you taking a poll? All right, carry on. All right. See you, donkey. Shalom. Welcome. Looks like they haven't started dismantling the clown's tent area, circus tent. Get a pretty good perspective from right here above this huge, massive sections of escalators. And you can see down there at what the future holds, just to the backside of Transformers attraction. Seems as if pretty much all the trees are very, very tall around these parts. Some new garments and even some some ornaments. An array of different versions. Pretty cool. Oh wow, take a look over there. Up close and personal. Some very serious goings on, I'd say. Just to give a little perspective on the size of this place, way up there on top of the parking structure is where the minion section is, where I was a little bit earlier. And now, 
on the lower lot. Oh dang, a very, very bold statement indeed. Decorations in full effect along that wall. I kind of like this one. You could say it's ready for action. They're not kidding. Do not sit on the escalator. When the wait time's only 15 minutes for the studio tour, you get in line. That's not too shabby. 55 years of the studio tour. We started doing these tours back in 1964. And back then, there was no theme park. There was a movie studio. And the movie people thought, hey, let's invite the public to come in and see what it looks like, where we work. So we started doing these tours. So the tours came first. And they proved to be so popular that in 1965, a year later, we added our entertainment center. So we added a stunt show and an animal show and a couple of gift shops and a couple of restaurants. That was the beginning of the theme park, which as you can see, has grown ever since. And it keeps on growing. We've got a new attraction opening next year based on the secret life of pets. So we do hope you'll come back next year when, when we open that new attraction uh, and check that out as well. Well, for several years, this was the Grandview City Hall for the TV series Ghost Whisperer, which starred Jennifer Love Hewitt. How can we change the look of this building so dramatically? Well, it looks very impressive, but it is just a facade. Most we have a very imposing front and a very imposing side. But you go around to the back, all you'll find is a little storage shed. That's all that's back there. And those solid looking bricks, fiberglass panels. So changing the look of this building is not all that difficult. And what we did with this building, we can do with all the buildings in our metro area. We can turn these streets into any major city, anywhere in the world at pretty much any period in time. We have some of the cars from Back to the Future Part 2. In that movie, they said we would have flying cars by the year 2015. I think we're running a little late. They're actors, and their job is to act, and that's exactly what they're doing. The cars usually are on the back of flatbed trucks, surrounded by camera equipment and sound equipment and all sorts of stuff. And so they're not actually doing the driving. There's somebody else on, you know, driving that flatbed truck, doing the actual driving. And, you know, engines are very heavy, so why have all that extra weight if you're not going to use it? So, you know, you're, you've already got all this, this other stuff weighing you down, you know, the camera equipment and the sound and all that stuff. So, um, so you don't need an engine for something like that. Sometimes it's even easier than that. The car's not moving at all. It's on a, it's on, uh, it's inside of a soundstage on what's called a gimbal. Now, enough of all of that on here. So many TV shows have used our old Mexico area here. Lots and lots of movies. You might recognize this from the, no the 80s today. comedy, uh, Three Amigos. Court of Miracles. A lot of the old Universal monster films took place right there. Center. Ah, we have uh, That'll we be the have last a time you see it before it's taken down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is this is a little unusual, but we're going to be unloading the tram see here. Doc over the trams there. are coming up on the right hand side, so uh, watch your watch your arms and legs as the trams come out on the right. Doc, uh, exit the tram. Make sure you have all your stuff with you, and 
follow the leader. On the other side. A very unusual place to unload, but I'm up for the I'm up for the excitement. Doc. Hello there. How are you? Do you know what today is? Today, well, as the recording of this video, That's it's right. November 12th. What historic moment is that? Well, allow me to explain to you. Join us, shall you? <laughs> November 12th, 1955 was the day I sent Marty McFly into the future. What do you think of that? One minute. It, well, no, that was Einstein. That was 30 years ago. I'm getting confused. For Marty McFly. I know, it's very confusing. Imagine the timeline if we just made it out here. Th that's why you're here, to keep, keep all this in line. That's absolutely right. Let me ask you this. Are you much of a time traveler? Have you make your way back to 1985? I would love to. That well, was my favorite era. I have a friend of mine that could always use some votes. So, here, will you vote for my friend? I will. Mayor Goldie Wilson? Progress is his middle name. That's right. Part of his progress platform means more jobs, better education. And better civic improvements. That's right. <laughs> On election day, don't forget, Mayor Goldie Wilson. I like the sound of that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, not too busy today. Not too busy at all. Not bad. As I exited the gate, you can get another little view of the side angle there of Secret Life what will be see the wall is completed on the right and the building facade it just covered in well scaffolding but definitely very prominent now that's going to do it for today if you're new here please subscribe by doing so it helps keep you in the loop up to date on future uploads here on this channel take it a step further ring that notification bell and if you enjoyed this particular episode give it a big thumbs up it lets me know you care. And I'll put links to past episodes, construction updates here at Universal Studios Hollywood in the description box if you'd like to get caught up. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.